everyone, I'm Holly, and today I'm going to make a frosted cherry soap. Um, I've been thinking about this soap for quite a while, and I'm hoping that my design really pays off for me. So, we'll see. Let's get started. So, I need to add in the coconut milk. I already used my stick blender to blend up my coconut milk, so that's why it's in the pot. I don't like to just set it down with milk on my paper towel. I just put it right back into the oils. Okay, so now I'm going to get the light solution in. Okay, so it does seem to be at a light trace. Sometimes I can take it too far if I don't stop and just stir for a while. So, I want to pour off a little bit in a cup for a little white on the top. Let's see, I gotta go the other way. Let's Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I made it. <laughs> a little bit. So now I'm going to add in the fragrance oil. And it's just a beautiful cherry fragrance. I probably should put the description down here so everybody can know more about it. Definitely the strong note is cherry. It did go a little bit yellow, but I'm not worried about that. It says it doesn't discolor, so we'll see. I want to pour off, I keep going to the wrong side. Um, I want to pour off some for a red on the top. And then I want, oh, I keep doing that. I'm so, I'm a right hander, but I'm doing best pouring from this side right now. So, okay, so I want a red swirl. And I want kind of like a, a little bit more of a purpley red swirl. thought for a minute I poured improperly. So in here, the rest of this is going to be a white. So let me think this through. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little of the white here and some of the white here. That's pretty good. I'll give I'll give that more of a stir in a little bit. Again, I'll do more stirring here in a little bit. Okay, to this one. I want this little bit more of a purpley red. And then more of a bright red here. 
and bright red here. Oh, that's perfect. So <laughs> just what I wanted. That looks good. I'm excited. This smells amazing. I usually have a cherry kiss, but I haven't been able to get a hold of that fragrance and I really don't know if I'm going to be getting it in in the future. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work as I want it to. I was gonna put in a little layer here of the dark, kind of the cherry color. Now kind of the red because I want this to be picked up and moved. All right, so this is really thickening up, but we're just gonna roll with it. Sometimes the thick in the pot swirl is really nice. So that's, it'll be fine. It takes so long to separate and scrape these big batches. I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir because sometimes these big batches, all it does is pop out that blob of color together. I think that's going to work just fine. Okay, I've brought my step stool over because I really need the height to for it to pour down in a little bit. I'm such a shorty. Still not sure how much it's pouring. Darn it. Well, we're just gonna have to hope that's super nice. I kind of, I kind of like the view up here. <laughs> this must be what it's like to be my husband—a whole nother foot in the air than I am. 
Wow, this is really, it's really nice. I can see a lot up here. <laughs> Had to come down. The air's so much thinner up there. <laughs> oh goodness! I've always wondered what it's like, you know, to be taller than five feet. Just gonna smooth this out because I just wanted it to have, in addition to that drop, I wanted it to have just a red layery top here. Now this is super thick, <laughs> but I want it to be a frosting, so it's actually, that's actually going to be just fine. We're just going to smooth it on, and I guess I didn't decide what I was going to do for the top. I was kind of thinking, I guess I should go see what kind of glitter I have, because I kind of do want some glitter on this one. going to like frosting a cake that one picked up a little bit of red Do you know what that's okay It'll look nice this is the biggest batch size that I do so it's 80 bars 480 80 some maybe Depends on how we cut it, actually. Um, but it's almost 400 ounces of oil. So it's a pretty big batch. Hands are getting so tired. So it's definitely picking up some of that below, and I'm kind of really liking that. <clears throat> Hands tired. I can tell that there's some places where it's not smoothed out well enough. But I think we're almost there. Okay, I think I'm going to clean up a little bit and go decide on the topping. Okay, so I have some glitter here from the Glitter Nymph. And isn't it pretty? And it just kind of reminds you of cinnamon, but cinnamon, you know, colors. But I think we'll go ahead and add a little bit on. Now my hands are freshly cleaned and sanitized. A little wipe down of alcohol. I probably am not going to spray this one with alcohol because it will cause these, the color and these glitter pieces, I guess, to bleed a little bit. So I'm not going to do that. Plus the top is white, so if it ashes a little, it's not a big deal. So all in all, I think it turned out still how I want it to be. So that's an exciting situation, even though it was, a, it was a little bit of a pain. Okay, that looks really nice. Now I have this pinky. I just don't think I'm going to add any of the, the pink on. I think I'm just going to fill in some of these spaces because these bigger gaps can mean a whole bar of soap is not getting any fun glitter. Alright, 
I think I'll call that good. I am going to put this to sleep for the weekend and I will be back for the cut. I'm back to cut this frosted cherry soap and it has discolored some. It's a little disappointing considering all the reviews and everything said it didn't discolor but it did so there we go. I love how the top looks. This soap smells so good. Like I can't get over how yummy this soap smells. It's like, it's cherry, kind of similar to like maraschino cherry, but it also has just, mmm, it's just sweet. Ah, oh, that's a cool look, like that. But you can see this edge here that all of this inside color will end up discoloring to that on the edge. And so that's a little bit discouraging, but it's something that if it's just such a great scent, we'll just have to do a little bit of a workaround. You can see that the glitter pulled down just a little bit, but isn't that bar cool? I love it. I definitely am pleased with the general design of it would have been happy if it hadn't discolored. But it is what it is. And sweet scents tend to discolor just because of the vanillin in it. I don't believe this one had a very high vanillin. And like I said, the reviews and everything said it didn't discolor, but it does. But it does smell just completely fantastic. So I know I'm going to enjoy using this for sure. And I think you guys will too. We can get over a little bit of discoloration, can't we? All right, I wanna see if I could get a bar here. Let me go ahead and cut it like this, even though it's sliding right there on the edge. I noticed my wires like flippity flop there. I'm not sure what that's about. So this one is discoloring a little bit on the top. It must have got just a little bit of that fragranced bit on the top. Oh, I messed up my row. I don't like that happening. <laughs> this is still just the neatest soap though. Oh, that was a cool one. It really is a perfect design and everything for this particular scent. It does discolors. That's all there is to it. These designs though are just so fun. I love a good swirly whirly soap. So I'm gonna try to take off a little less this time. We'll see if that'll, see if that will do. gotten quite ooh haha <laughs> that's neat oh it's got an interesting whiff what does that remind me of hmm I can't remember oh look at this look at that one there I don't know if you can see we're gonna look right here right in here there's a kind of scraping from the glitter catching on the wire now one way to avoid that, and I could have flipped it this way so that this glitter was just being pulled down at the very top, but I didn't do that, so whoops. That did not happen that way. There's another one of those circles, that's fun. Mmm, this smells so good. That's the problem, I'll have to decide if I wanna keep it around or what I'm gonna do with it. I don't tend to like a soap, um, a fragrance to use it multiple times if it's gonna be too discolory. Sometimes it's worth it. But I do tend to drop fragrances that do that, ultimately just because they don't work with the designs I like to do. That's so cool. 
So let's do it this way then. And we'll make see if we can get some without it being pulled down. That one got stuck. Ah, oh, so nice. Just oh, such a good scent. That's a fun bar. I love it when it gets all like um Oh, what's the word I'm trying to, I don't know what word I'm trying to come up with it, but I always like it when they get real squiggly like that. Maybe that's the word I'm trying to use. I don't know. That's so fun. All right, so here we have my discolored bunch of frosted cherry soap, but it smells amazing so if you like cherry scents I do hope you'll try this one out regardless of the discoloration because it smells super duper all right guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later